بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سبجیکٹ کیمسٹری گریڈ اے چیپٹر نمبر 22 واٹر پیج نمبر 294 سٹوڈنٹ لرننگ آؤٹ کمز دی ٹاپکس دیٹ وی ڈیل ٹو ڈے فرسٹ از ڈیزیلینیشن دین ڈسٹیلیشن یو نو ویری ویل فیٹ ڈسٹیلیشن از فرام ہیئر سو دا اوسموسس وی آلریڈی نو اباؤٹ اوسموسس بٹ ہیئر وی ڈیل وت ریورس اوسموسس So let's start today's lesson. First, the topic is desalination. For many hot countries, getting a reliable supply of fresh water is difficult. You know that in hot water, the water is not easily available due to uh, the temperature outside and the evaporation is more, uh, you can say that with low rainfall, rivers and lakes run dry in hotter months. As you know that in especially the months like June, July in these months, the water should dry from their resources however these countries sometimes have large coastal lines or you can say that the big body of water they have plenty of sea water but this is unsuitable for most uses you know that the sea water you can't use directly the sea water for any purpose for example not even for uh, drinking but you also can't use the sea water for bathing or washing or you can say that wash your plant a uh, wash your clothes like this that is where desalination comes in special desalination plants can take most of the dissolved salt out of the sea water you know that the sea water is mostly uh, you can say that the have one the most thing that make it unable to use due to the amount of salts not only is calcium chloride but also the other salts also present in it so it's unable to use directly or from brackish water from marshes okay so here this is the one type of brackish water and you know this area very well there are two types of salt water and the brackish water they're going to mix each other but they are not mixed why because their concentration is different this alnation produce usable water from sea water by separating water from the dissolved salt so you can see here in this area here this the sea water the ocean what's present here salt okay so the salt that is present dissolved salt that is present inside this water okay so what happened this ocean water move this a process here in this okay and then it move upward here after that it go to the energy then after the process whatever the process going on the process is that remove okay separate we separating water from separating water from the dissolved salt then we can get here after separation we can get here the fresh water and that is able to use so this water is you can say that is separating from the salts hope you understand this very well so salts and mineral they will get back from out from this region so very easy to understand till here okay now next uh, you already know how distillation works that's we done on page number 171 water is evaporated then cooled and condensed to separate it from dissolved solids the process used in some distillation plants is based on desilation plants in based on distillation so this the process here this is known as distillation what have happened here here you can take the water or the thing that you want to first give heat from here down okay the heat is here right here heat okay so the heat moves up that boils the water after that the vapors move from here in this condenser what happened 
the water vapor that present here in this way. So the water that coming from here, this is the water that move upward from this and it move down from here. So it make or make the water that in the form of vapors to make it cool and after the cooling process it again convert into liquid water. You can see this the droplets. Okay. So it will uh, distill and after distillation it will fall down. So this is the process of distillation. No, next. In a desalination plant, the pressure above the water is reduced. Okay. This lower the boiling point of the sea water. The process is called flash distillation. So, what is this? Let's see about the flash distillation. What is the meaning of first of all the low pressure? Okay. So, the low pressure here you can see that we use the vacuum pump. Okay, this is the vacuum pump. What it do? It takes the pressure out from this plant. When the pressure reduced, above the water is reduced. When the pressure reduced, then what happened? The water boiling point as we know that that is 100 degrees Celsius. So, Due to lower the boiling point, what happened? It can boil more or lower temperature. This process is called flash distillation. So you can see here the water that coming, okay, or the condense. After that, this will evaporate, and due to evaporation, the condensation or the vapors are formed here, and these vapors are gathered from in this way here and here and here and you can collect after that this water and this the fresh water we all have here collected in these funnels and you can store it where you want to use. So this cooling water discharge and then condensation discharge then you can uh, you, uh, you store this water but the brine or the discharge which have salt in this what is brine the mixture of salt and water is known as brine. So, this we can use again and we can throw it outside where we store it. So the next slide, let us see. Another process called reverse osmosis is getting more popular. This use a membrane to separate the water and the salt. Here in this process reverse osmosis, we use a membrane. There is no heating involved, so it uses less energy than distillation. However, energy is still needed to pressurize the water. What it means here? We know that if you want to go to the reverse osmosis, the reverse osmosis is the opposite of the osmosis in which we need energy. The energy is not uh, to make it hot or uh, warm or give it uh, in the form of heating. So, heating is not involved. The energy is only to pressurize. Okay. So, when for pressurize we use a pump. You can see here for this purpose we need a pump. So, pump also need energy, but in this uh, process we use membranes. What we use that is mentioned here we use membrane to separate the water from the salt. So, when we pass the water from the salt, this is the free tank, then the water move in the values and this is the next. You all can see here one by one and then we can get the water out from the process. Today's membrane can remove 98 percent of the dissolved salt from seawater. However, questions of pumps and pipes is a problem. Desalination is used in Middle East countries that can use money from their oil to pay the cost of desalination. In the Virgin Islands, in the Western Indies, 90 percent of the water used in diesel native. Thanks for watching.